All right, friends, this is a video you're probably gonna to wanna to share with your relatives if you're anything like me, which I'm sure many of you are. There's nothing worse than the holidays being a very discerning individual and people wanting to get you stuff. I think you know what I'm talking about here. I, uh, every year, I sit down on Black Friday and I create a, actually on Thanksgiving Day is when I do it, I sit down and I create a Word document with very specific links, sizes, colors, uh, and then I have to really rack my brain to find things because there's nothing in this world I want that's under like $2,000, right? So I think many of you can probably relate. So now you're racking your brain, trying to figure out what can your, the regular people, which is everybody in your family but you, right? We're the oddballs. So what, what can regular people possibly get you in that, you don't know, 50, 100, $200 range, depending on, you know, how good of a, uh, how, how good of a person you are and how much you mean to them, right? <laughs> from, from a dollar perspective. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, this year, I'm like, man, I'm, I can't even figure out what I want for myself. So I certainly don't want Michelle's parents you know, or her, Michelle's sister trying to buy me something. Like, they don't have a clue. Uh, and, and if they tried, they would fail miserably and I'd have to bear it and grin it. There's nothing worse than your, your grandma showing up with that, uh, that catch-all bucket from Walmart, the turtle wax crap, or uh, even worse, uh, what is the armor all, like the armor all bucket. I see that in the Obsessed Garage show up every year. So you're gonna use this video um, to share with your relatives so they don't end up doing this to you and you have to smile uh, and hold this hunk of crap that you're gonna punt in the trash as soon as everybody leaves after uh, you know, uh, Christmas day. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, man, what the heck do I want? I mean, gosh, I have, now I'm cheating because my business is everything that I want, right? And so I get basically everything I want, but there's nothing in this world I want uh, that's under like a thousand bucks. And so I'm sitting here racking my brain. I'm like, what do I want? I mean, I have every Rogue shirt they make. Uh, I have every pair of 511 tactical shorts made. Uh, I literally bought like 12 pairs of Nike Metcons and, and Reebok uh, Nano, so I have every color that I want. And so I came up with two things, a frickin' jump rope and a, uh, and a what was it, um, uh, some f like wraps for my hands that I already have a pair. I'm like, well, let me just get another pair in case the pair I have fail. And so if many of you can relate to this, well, congratulations, you're very fortunate. Um, but if you can't think of anything you want, uh, just tell the people that are in your life, and this is a shameless plug here, to just get you an Obsessed Garage gift card. Don't go to Obsessed Garage and buy stuff because they don't know what you freaking want. What you could do is you could set up a, uh, your Word document, which is what I normally do, and you put sizes, colors, a link, specific variant link to what you want, but they're still gonna freaking screw it up. So then you're gonna end up with something you don't want and you're gonna have to try to return it or you're gonna have to bear it and grin it and end up with the wrong thing. So what I suggest you do is you send them a link to this. We'll put it in the description. Uh, this, is, uh, this is what you want, I know it. This is what I would want. Uh, if, I, uh, you know, if I was you and I didn't have, uh, actually, I almost want, <coughs> excuse me, I almost want my relatives to buy me my own gift cards. That way I can just uh, get what I want out of my store, right? And so you want this, it's freaking awesome. You want them to get you this, and, uh, and that way you can dictate what you want. And just make a, make a, what I would do if it were me is I'd make a Word document and I would put a link to 25, 50, 100, 150, just, just all the same things so they get you and they realize that you only want one freaking thing, which is what you want. Right, you want to get what you want, not what they want to get you. And so I hate to be so crass to the relatives that are watching this, but I'm telling you, the dude and like three girls that are kind of like the, the, like us here, um, you want to get them what they want. That's what everybody wants. And they don't want junk. They don't want the freaking armor all bucket from Walmart. They don't want anything from Walmart. There's nothing that Walmart has that I would want. And by proxy, I don't think any of the people that, uh, that are watching this want that either. So just freaking get them this awesome gift card. It looks sick. And, uh, and, and, and they'll, they'll be able to buy the, the proper product this year instead of getting some tchotchke bull crap that nobody wants. End of rant. Okay, so knowing that, he said, never go to Walmart 
and buy a present for your husband. Never go to Target, Kohl's, Belk, you know, all these stores that he jokes are like teacher stores or, um, yeah, he, he would say something like that. So he probably mentioned those stores. Um, and I hate to say it, but I have to agree. If I walked into Walmart, there's not one thing in the entire store that I could buy him that he would be like, yes. Two people in our family, Matt and Kate, his little mini me, they always speak the truth. And it's brutal and it's horrible. And I most of the time want to like hide in a little hole and pretend like I didn't hear it. But a lot of times he's so right. And I think in this case, he's totally right. I've tried buying him stuff. Um, actually, probably not in the last like seven years, but at the beginning of our marriage and you know dating, I would try to like think of something great and like, no, I'm gonna come up with this great gift and buy it for him. And it was always just like epic fail. So wives, don't waste your time. Just ask them what they want or get them a gift card. That's the end of my public service announcement. Thank you for watching. Thank you, thank you for your support. Thank you to those relatives that are watching this for allowing the oddball in your life to exist in your life. Because uh, us weirdos, we have, uh, we have a tough time with uh, people at times. And the holidays are even tougher. I'm great at buying gifts for people because regular people don't care. Uh, but oddball people, um, uh, discerning people, man, you really mess up their life when they have to bear and grin it. It's just a bad thing. So just get them a freaking obsessed garage gift card so they can buy what they want.